Good morning, beautiful souls. How are you? Today is Thursday. It is August 25th. I'm here for another little psychic message for us all, some healing messages. I've chosen the Angel Therapy Oracle cards today. Just felt like we need a little bit of soothing for some reason. You have to excuse my get up. It's sexy, isn't it? If anybody thinks that I'm going to get out of my very warm and fluffy oody this morning to give you these messages, you've got nothing coming. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cold and windy here. Absolutely. Well, I used to call it echo weather because when I lived in Queensland, every time the exhibition was on, it'd get cold and windy. So anyway, so we're going to get stuck into it today. Like I said, using the Angel Therapy Oracle cards, take what you need, leave the rest, nothing scripted. I'm just going to ask Spirit to give us some cards, give us some insight, give us some guidance as to what we need to know for today and beyond. Thank you all so much for your positive feedback yesterday. I really, really do appreciate it. Make sure that you go over and check out my Facebook page as well because I'll be turning three more cards individually for the energies over there as well. So, all right, Spirit, let's use these angel cards. What do we need to know? What can we focus on right now? Choose them for us or tell me when to stop. All right, Archangel Raphael, Angel of Healing. Um, um, I'm hearing call upon us, call upon us. Um, one thing to remember is that when it comes to our angels and our spirit guides and our ancestors, they work better, so to speak, when you actually call upon them. So they will never interfere with their own free will. Obviously, I'd like to say that we are always protected by them, but now's a really good time to use your free will. If you're having any sort of physical discomforts, any health issues, um, anything of that nature, please call upon Archangel Raphael because he is with you right now supporting you. If you are um, in the healing work itself, if you are an energetic healer of any sort, Please call upon Archangel Raphael to help you deliver smooth, crisp, clear healings and uh, messages. If you are wanting to improve your Reiki skills, your energy healing, whoop, um, yeah, definitely call upon Arch Archangel Raphael. Cut your cords. So some of you are, do still have energetic cords attached to people, places, things, thoughts, all that at the moment. It says Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. So I think this is what's really going on right now. It can be happening with family, with your friends, with ex-lovers, anything of that nature, anyone that you've had an energetic attachment to and an accord attached to. If they are consuming your energy right now, it's really important to cut your cords with them. A beautiful way you can do that is just to lay down, go quiet. You can put on some meditation music if you like and visualize a cord, like an umbilical cord that attaches you to the other person. And what you can do is virtually and visually take a pair of scissors and cut that cord, pretty much like what they do when a baby's born. <laughs> so cut that cord with full intention and, um, and release release the energetic attachment that you have with them. So that's a that's a really good way of doing it. So we've got Archangel Raphael helping us with our healing. We're being asked to cut our cords and energetic cords to especially people from the from the past that you may still have an attachment with. And we got release as well. Keeps coming up in all the readings, doesn't it? It's really important to release what no longer serves you right now. You'll do it for the rest of your life anyway. As long as you live, you'll always be experiencing contrast. So you'll always be experiencing things that you don't want to understand and to come to full conviction with those things that you do want. When you realize what you do want, it's up to you to put your full energy, time, focus, and intention into those things only. So the card actually says, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you and your purpose. 
So we've got Archangel Raphael here to help us with our healing. Obviously, he can help you cut these cords with Archangel Michael. And you can also call upon Archangel Michael to, to give you some direction. If they give you this in block of thought, in, in a clairvoyant way, please write it down. Please write down everything right now, especially if it's coming to you. You can resonate with it, but you don't understand what it means. It doesn't mean that you receive this information, you go into your logic and try to work it all out. It just means that there are messages coming through, can be through feeling, can be through something that you, um, in your clear audience, something that you hear, can be clairvoyant, something that you see. Just write it down because they're trying to communicate with you. When you're building your in, in, intuitive abilities and all that sort of stuff, it's really important to develop your relationship with source first and foremost. Shield yourself every morning. Cleanse yourself every afternoon. We'll get one more. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> oh, so we've got Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael's very, very active at the moment. Call upon him. Use your free will. Call upon him. He wants to help you. I'm not a big um, knowledgeable nut, as you could say, when it comes to Archangels. I just can, I just speak with Spirit. Spirit are a mass conscious collective for me. But obviously Archangel Michael has come out three times here alongside Archangel Raphael. Um, the card says you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. So not only is Archangel Michael guiding you and protecting you, you are receiving messages and it's really important that you write down any sort of um, odd thoughts or uh, intuitive nudges or anything like that, even if you don't feel intuitively inspired to take action on them right now. I may actually do something over in the spiritual shack to um, explain this a little bit better, but yeah, that's our message for today. We've got to release what's no longer serving us. We need to cut the cords uh, from anything in the past and trust in Archangel Michael, call upon him and accept the healing that's coming from Archangel Raphael. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll be back a bit later if you want to pop back for our star signs. Have a good one. Bye.